The team members of an architect firm in Winchester only recently got on their bikes to cycle across five different countries in just seven days. The cycle relay took them from Winchester to Berlin. It was all in aid of raising money for the Teenage Cancer Trust in the UK and the Kinderhilfe in Germany. Part of the team, though, is joining me now in the studio to tell us all about it. Well, welcome, guys. And I suppose the first question I've got to ask is, why put yourself through this? Why go on such a long journey? Uh, well, we're, uh, well, we're trying to raise money for the Teenage Cancer Trust, um, predominantly for the UK side <laughs> that we're doing that. Um, and we raised overall £26,000 for charity. So, wow. Yeah, it's a really good team effort from, from our firm. And that's it, the, the money's been split between the two charities, one here in the UK, one in, in Germany. I believe it's £26,000 for just the Teenage just Cancer Trust. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 9000 for the European side yeah. as well. Isn't it? Okay. And as we were saying there, kind of, a few were novice cyclers beforehand. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, how long have you guys been preparing for this? Well, I've been, uh, I signed up at the start of the, when we heard about it, and I thought, oh, well, this is going to be quite a big challenge, but it's all for charity, and I've been doing it for about three months. So I've been on the bike about five days a week, just trying to keep, keep myself, like, in the kind of, in the way of just so I can succeed and be able to do it. So. A lot of us um, are actually Portsmouth University students, or okay. we all live down here in Portsmouth. And, um, and the great thing about it is that we've been able to cycle from our practice in Winchester back home to as part of the practice, um, which is great to get fitness into the office as well. Well, I say it's quite a distance though, even just from Portsmouth to Winchester, but and then to take that from Winchester to Berlin must have been something else. Yeah, it's definitely hilly this side of the channel. <laughs> 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 we learnt a lot about the, uh, the, the countryside. Yeah. And I understand, so you're all architects, so that's how you know each other, and have you been training together before and after work, or have you all been doing your own sort of thing? We did a couple of rides. We've done yeah. a couple of rides, mostly individually doing stuff, though, yeah. to get the mileage in. Yeah, me and Charlotte, kind of, after work, cause we work in Winchester, we've cycled all the way back to Portsmouth, so we try and take different routes, like up and down hills, just to... And Winchester's certainly yeah. full of hills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the great thing about it, because it's a, because it's a relay, mm -hmm. um, it, w it wasn't unachievable for people. For them, it, it was small sections that you could, could practice very easily. So. So, but you were saying earlier that you had to start quite early in the morning on the first day and actually each day then yeah. to get those routes in. Yeah, so we started, we'd have to get up uh, around 5 o'clock, be downstairs at 5.30 to be gone at 6 so that you can all kind of get to the next stop and then carry on the relay and it's all fast paced. So every stop we have to be there, be ready, get the bikes out and on the road. So. It's a great, a great uh, example of project planning. <laughs> Keeping to a deadline. I was going to say, yeah. did you have other people from the office there as your support team then as well? Yeah, our CEO, Eddie Miles, was, was present for the whole thing. I think actually he, he almost rode the total distance. Yes. Yeah. Um, there were definitely there was a couple that finished in Dover and did, did the full way from Winchester to Dover. So, um, wow. All credit to them, mate. And I mean, that's fantastic. But I've got to say, obviously, you, you've done it for some really good causes. What's going to be the next big thing for you guys? What can we look out for you for? Oh, well, we've got lots of kind of things going on towards Portsmouth. Um, I, I imagine our CEO, a bit of a fan of uh, the Tour, Tour de France, would probably end up having <laughs> us do something like that. Turn lands into Toronto yeah, probably. <laughs> coming up soon. I think a lot of us were very excited about the cycling and we enjoyed it because a lot of the time you don't see a lot of people in the other offices. Mm -hmm. So when we're cycling, you see like, the different companies, like what they do and the different directors and you kind of, everyone has a keen interest in cycling. So it's kind of one of those things that if we just do a get together, mm -hmm. raise a little bit of money or do some more cycling, we're, we're all, we all loved it and it's a great cause to do. So. It's also great because if we've got a chance to experience kind of architecture of Europe. Mm -hmm. So I think as a practice that's been really beneficial to get everyone touring around and actually getting to see what, what we should be building. So were you cycling around and taking notes or yeah, just definitely. mental notes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot, a, photos, yeah. yeah, lots of photographs. A lot of the time we kind of, when we're cycling, you just kind of look at a building and then to say, yeah. laugh at some little element or a different <laughs> kind of aspect of the building and have a quick kind of comparison, so. It's been really good to also meet people that work in different sectors within mm -hmm. our company. So obviously like the retail, residential, hospitality, um, lots of offices kind of have main disciplines in different areas. So. Uh, getting to talk to them about what they're working on at the moment has been really beneficial. And then, of course, a big party in Berlin at the end. A very yeah. big party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying it was a bit of a hero's welcome as well? You thought it was a riot going on or something? Yeah, it was quite overwhelming yeah. at some points, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got greeted by a lot of noise and, and a big kind of stage, balloons, um, prize giving. So. Well, that's the thing as well. Obviously, Germany's known for its beer as well, so I'm sure you guys had a nice drink at the end as beer, well. Beer and gin, apparently. <laughs> 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 
Well, guys, it sounds like you had an amazing journey. You've all come back with smiles on your faces and hopefully not too saddle sore. I'm afraid that's all the time we've got for you now, but thank you very much for coming to see me. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.